today i am going to cover one of the most important topic for any professional especially the quality and uh, project management professionals called quality trilogy hi this is jagdish kumar doing this uh, presentation for you the methodology of uh, quality trilogy for quality management was developed by joseph m juran who is a renowned world known quality guru joseph juran has written a book voluminous book called as juran's quality handbook which is considered as the mother document on uh, quality he is a specialist in managing quality and devised the concept of a quality trilogy which we are going to know now regarding quality trilogy let us remember the management of quality is best performed by using the three managerial processes advocated by jur the three managerial processes uh, advocated by juran are as a uh, follows one quality planning two quality control and three quality improvement let us know these three managerial processes in detail as we move forward but the greatest contribution of uh, joseph juran has been that till such time he sensitized the people the quality professionals were traditionally looking at uh, defects elimination of defects time saved and so on they were not so aligned towards the cost element involved in uh, quality joseph juran was the first person who sensitized people on uh, the linkage between uh, the poor quality and uh, heavy money lost by the companies now let us know the three processes one by one the first process is quality planning quality planning involves developing the products anyway the output of uh, any business or any organization is a product or services which meet the customer requirement this is very important unless we meet the requirement of uh, customers we will never be in the business we will be no more in the business quality planning consists of the following major steps we are talking about the first among the three processes in a quality trilogy first determine who are the customers both internal and external this is very important once you know who are the customers it is very easy to determine the needs of the customers once you know the needs of the customers now fulfilling all these needs set the specifications and uh, set uh, the quality goals having set the quality goals now develop product uh, features what are the various the features which may have to get into that particular product or service you decide and develop so that it meets quality goals and in turn meets the needs of the customers now we will come to the second process that is quality control quality control here is the process employed by management again juran has been very uh, clever he has clearly mentioned here that the responsibility on quality is with the management too quality control here is the process employed by management to meet the product service standards where did we set the standard the standard was set using the product requirement goals in process number 1 that is planning quality quality control process advocated by joseph juran consists of observing the actual performance of the product features developed in process number 1 comparing the performance with the set standard which again was developed in process number 1 that is quality planning 
and taking action to eliminate the difference between the actual performance and the standard so that if the actions are taken to eliminate the poor performance of the product and the expectation of the standard and thereby the gap existing in performance reducing this gap by suitable actions would enable the product to, to reach the quality goal and in turn reach the requirement of the customers this is done in quality control process which is the process number two in joseph juran's the quality trilogy this control process is applied to a variety of control subjects when we talk about product it is not just the product features alone it starts from materials processes products services tests the product has to undergo and qualify and so on all these elements like materials processes products services tests etc need to be fulfilling the requirements of the standard set in process step number one that is planning quality also in quality control moving forward we need to develop processes which are able to produce the product meeting all the requirements of our customers measure performance of the process because process is the cause product may be good by fluke if you, the process is not good in the next batch of production defects will emerge that's why the permanent improvement lies in the process so not only the product should meet the requirement the process also should be good the performance of the process should also be equal to the standard compare performance to the goal take action if there is a gap as we discussed transfer the process now after establishing by a development group say to the operations group who will consistently use this process to develop products which consistently meet customers requirements control takes place at all levels please remember quality is everybody's responsibility right from ceo to the last level and the quality control the actions required to ensure that the products or services meet the quality goals and thereby the quality standard is the responsibility for everybody from CEO to the person down the line level. Now we will come to the third and the last process in quality trilogy called quality improvement. Quality improvement aims at finding ways to do better than the standard. In process number two, we ensured that the product or service met the set level in the standard. Now, Juran says that we should not rest at that, we should do step number three, that is quality improvement which aims at exceeding the performance of the product or service beyond the standard wherever it adds value to business adds value to customers requirement continuous improvement in quality is the goal let us remember this continuous improvement in quality is the goal as there is no limit to performance it is told in quality that uh, improvement is a continuous journey it is a continuous journey what is good today no more good tomorrow three decades back a car giving 8.5 kilometer per liter mileage was the good car is it so now so you understood that the quality is a moving target and there is no end to improving the performance moving forward with the, this last and the third process that is quality improvement duran presented a structured approach for quality improvement and cleverly included a list of responsibilities for top management which should never be delegated downwards means the list of responsibilities the top management should own if there should be a quality in that particular organization one creating awareness of the quality need and opportunity for improvement is the responsibility of top management awareness should be created at the management level middle management level lower management level as well as at employee level at all the levels creating awareness on improvement of quality and its need is the responsibility of top management making quality improvement a part of 
every job description every individual in the organization should be given a quality goal this is what he suggests because quality improvement can happen everywhere in the organization creating an infrastructure having a structured approach to quality improvement is also responsibility of top management like creating a small team say quality council which will select most value adding quality improvement uh, actions and assign them to quality improvement teams like qcc or six sigma and uh, get the best quality improvement done again i request uh, everybody to please subscribe to this uh, channel if you have not subscribed uh, yet now summing up we discussed about quality trilogy developed by one of the renowned quality guru joseph juren it talks about three processes first is uh, quality planning the second is quality control and the third is quality improvement in quality planning we understand the customers and their needs we set the quality goals and set the quality standards which the product or service should meet then only it will meet the requirement of the customers and thereby we can be in the business in quality control we see that the products or services what we made are uh, meeting the standard set as per uh, process number one that is quality planning also in quality plan uh, control we will see that if there is a gap between the actual performance of the product or service compared to the standard what improvement actions can be taken to see that the product meets the standard now coming to the last and the third process that is uh, quality improvement we now see that our product already has met the standards of how to improve the product performance further beyond the standard so that we do better than the competition we become the market leaders and get the best benefit after adding value to customers requirement after serving customers requirement better with this, I conclude this session. Thank you so much for all your support.